guys, welcome back. Um, I'm doing kind of a really random video today uh, that I thought would be funny. I've seen a lot of these kind of videos going around lately um, where people read their old Facebook statuses or look at old pictures, um, just reacting to old things. So naturally, I wanted to give it a try myself. Um, I thought today we'd go back and read old Facebook statuses. Um, who did I? I think Megan Ranks did this, and that's how I got the idea. So I'm scrolling way back on my Facebook. I'm not sure. I'm doing it on my phone. It's probably not the most efficient way to do this. I should probably, maybe I should do it on my laptop. I think I finally found my first status. I had to go back really far. May 12th, 2009. Go Adam Lambert. <laughs> I was a big fan of American Idol and I loved Adam Lambert. Um, walk on the beach. Let's see. American Idol, go Adam Lambert. I think I was like really feeling Adam Lambert, guys. I probably didn't realize that he was not straight. <laughs> I probably just wanted to marry him anyway. I always had a thing for gay guys. Just finished my road lessons, playing The Sims 3 with Greta. That's my cousin. Sims 3, holla at your girl. Who else loved Sims? Mm. Mark, if you're watching. I know you still love The Sims. <laughs> Mark, I miss you. And then I did a ton of notes. You know where like you did notes back on Facebook and you could like, it had like questions that you had to answer and everybody would do them or like so it seemed everybody would do them but I don't think anybody ever read anyone else's like we all wanted to seem like like we wanted people to read them. June 12th, 2009, just got my wristband to try out for American Idol on Sunday. If you guys did not know, I did try out for American Idol in 2009. Um, I think I was 16 then and um... I like totally choked and got super nervous because the girl in front of me sang the song I wanted to sing. So I got super nervous and um, chickened out on that song and sang the Ameri American, no, the national anthem. What am I saying? Um, my song was going to be At Last by Etta James because I like love that song. I practiced it like crazy. I was like, I'm ready. And then when she sang it in front of me, she did a really good job, but she didn't make it through. But like, I was so nervous about that song now, I like couldn't do it. So not a great experience but after I post that last singing video you guys said I should audition for the voice but question of the day June 27th 2009 just got my license so excited packing then going on a vacation for a week text me isn't it so funny how like back in the day we all would end every Facebook status with text me text me because like nobody texts anybody <laughs> I guess I'll never be good enough for you 2009, 16. Who did I like at that time? I don't even know. Girl, you. <laughs> so funny to read this. Like, you good enough for anybody now. You good. Like, self esteem issues though. A million more of these notes. Oh my god. <laughs> survey. Girl survey. Like, nobody cares, <laughs> Alexandra. I did so many notes. It is so funny where, like, you talk about <laughs> just like your life. Simple things is what my heart beats for. That's a lyric I wrote. That's me. Don't have to spend a time, baby. Is that from JoJo? I think that's JoJo. Simple things what my heart beats for. 2009 was a great year. August 10th. I wish Glee would start right now. <laughs> Gleek for life. Comment if you're a Gleek. Crushing on that on my first, not my not my first boyfriend, but like my my first love. That's when I met him around this time. Oh, this is gonna get really interesting. <laughs> oh God. Watching Juno, text me. Juno was my fave. Who else loved Juno? It started with a chair. I love how the Halloween episode of Lizzie McGuire is on. Oh, Lizzie McGuire! Oh my lord. All right. <laughs> Holy crap, that vibrating mascara really works, but it tickles my eyelashes. <laughs> it really worked. Do you guys remember that um, vibrating mascara? What, what brand was that from? I think L'Oreal maybe. Um, it was like the stiletto one, but it like vibrated, I think. Oh, that was when I first like started experimenting crazily with mascaras. Like, I loved it all. This is definitely when I started falling in love because I can like see myself posting so many like <laughs> love statuses and like love quotes from songs. I want drama, the touch of your hand. I want your leather studded kiss in the sand. I want your love. Hashtag Lady Gaga <laughs> reference. Oh my god, this is so funny. It's so funny. Actually, who was I crushing on at this time? Because I just realized, I know, I didn't meet my first love till the next year. I don't even know. 
I'm so stressed it feels like my head's going to pop off. Well, things never change, I guess. December 10th, 2009. Whoa, whoa, whoa. When did iTunes songs go up to 129? Shit. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is where the heart starts to feel things. Oh, right. This was when my long-distance relationship started. Oh, boy. TBT's up in here, though. <laughs> oh, Lord. These pictures, though. Throwbacks. Oh, I see a status about watermelon culottes from Dunkin' Donuts. Did those ever come back? Those were amazing. Just got pulled over for the first time. It didn't get a ticket, but that was scary as hell. <laughs> I've only gotten pulled over once, and this was the time. It was on May 29th, 2010, and it was very strange. I was with my mom. Thank God she could wipe my tears. I'm such a baby. I don't, I don't ever, like do bad like I was never one to get in trouble in school anything like that like I'm such a baby getting pulled over for the first time sucked going to see Eclipse with Danny tomorrow text me oh back when the Twilight movies were the ish oh this was back when Mark and I were friends before like we had a break and then reunited forcing Mark to do my dishes and help me clean evil smile face <sighs> oh there's a picture of the guy Corny love statuses. <laughs> so many song lyrics. Alexandra. Huh. I have changed my career paths many times as well, as I can see from all of these statuses. That's so funny. Love quote for anybody in a long distance relationship. November 4th, 2010. Distance is not for the fearful. It is for the bold. It is for those who are willing to spend a lot of time alone in exchange for a little time with the one they love. It's the for the it's for those knowing a good thing when they see it, even if they don't see it nearly enough. Oh shit. Hashtag emotional. Hashtag I was really missing that dude at the time. Yep. Oh. Went to Jamaica's. Flying, traveling. I have a lot of pictures from Jamaica, which was like actually a really fun time. Only fond memories. There's no reason in like having issues with your ex or the past, whatever. And then Glee Christmas next week. Back to Glee loving. Oh, and then lots of sad moments of me missing the guy. <laughs> Oh my god, girlfriend. Oh, and then this is where it gets depressing. I think we were broken up at the time, and I'm posting like a ton of sad statuses. Oh my god. Wait, isn't this an old Miley Cyrus song? I miss you, I miss your smile, and I still shed a tear every once in a while. Even though it's different now, you're still here somehow. My heart will let you go, but I want you to know I miss you. Sha la la la, I miss you. Who remembers that Miley Cyrus song? Because that's definitely a Miley song. Oh, 18th birthday, followed by more depressing statuses from being lonely. Cupcakes, oh my god, those look so good. And this was my first time eating frozen yogurt on December 27th, 2011. Ooh, it was so good. Oh my god, and there's fresh berries on it. Oh, oh, someone come get frozen yogurt with me. Who can I text right now? Frozen yogurt. Aww, and then I got my first laptop cover. That was cute. And I still have that on right now. Family! Late night Panera. Panera bread. That was the first time I ate Panera bread, too. Oh, my God. New phone number. Let's just put it on Facebook for everyone to see. Wouldn't do that now. December 5th, 2011. Just went to visit my grandpa and walked in to see him watching Spongebob alone. Ha ha ha, so cute. Ain't that the truth, though? I still constantly catch my grandpa um, watching Spongebob alone. I get my Spongebob love from my family. Actually, I'd still love it myself, but it's, like, really fun because all of us are addicted to Spongebob. Like, we reference that ish on the daily. December 24th, 2012. It's officially my birthday. Hi, I'm 20. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. I think I post that every Christmas on my Facebook. I guess everything happens for a reason, but that doesn't mean it doesn't suck sometimes. Oh, you're so deep, Alexandra. This was only two years ago, mind you. It's hilarious to me to watch how many times, I'm serious, how many times I changed my career path on here. Going to teaching school, cosmetology school, airplane stewardess, nanny, um, wedding planner. I've seen five, five, count them, five job career changes throughout this process. Oh, 
changed my major in college. Surprise, surprise, another major change. Went from elementary ed to urban studies. Urban studies, mm, y'all majors are great. If I was still in school, I would definitely study either psychology or urban studies. I loved urban studies. It's so fascinating and like mind opening. Ooh, my first mirror selfie with a really cute dress on in the dressing room. <sighs> Lily commented, sexy bitch. September 30th, 2012. It's amazing how much happier one can be once you stop comparing yourself to others. Epiphany moment! Ain't that the truth? Never compare yourself to others. It's just a shit show. Life is so much better when you just like be you and don't compare yourself to others. Like, do what makes you happy! November 12th, 2012. Adam Levine may be the sexiest man alive. Still true. Oh, this was when bit strips were really cool. Craig and I posted so many pictures of us on bit strips, and we posted so many selfies at school. Could not have survived cosmetology school without my love, Craig. Oh god. Let my boyfriend do my makeup last night and filmed it. We'll be up on my YouTube channel in a few days. This was, I think, the first video Alan did with me, and he did my makeup. So funny. I hope that was enjoyable for you. It was kind of just fun for me to look through those statuses and just kind of derp through them. Um, hopefully it wasn't too boring for you, but uh, I don't know. There was a lot of old stuff on there. It's so funny to like rehash through the memories and kind of just linger in it. Nostalgia! Have you ever gone through your old stuff and laughed? Um, if there's anything else you want me to like go through uh, just for fun and giggles, uh, comment and please let me know. And I love you guys so much for watching and just being there for me and loving. And I love you guys too. If you haven't subscribed, please do because I post every day. And yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye!